Hi everyone, I'm Breno and I'm the co-founder of Boto.io and today I'm here to demo our Stripe to crypto integration. Here I'm going to show you the flow from the user and what it looks like in Stripe and how it is to manage it. Um, our integration is super simple. Uh, it can take as little as two minutes, no code. We can automatically build all the assets you need, um, but you can customize as much as you want as well. So I'm going to walk through um, the whole flow and what is customizable or not. Um, here it's our pricing page and as you can see the users can choose uh, different plans and they can even choose what add-ons they want so let's say we want to start a new membership here as a customer uh, i can choose between crypto or credit card um, credit card is basically any of the stripe payment methods uh, it's going to bring the traditional stripe uh, checkout page and if you click in crypto it's going to take you to a custom checkout page um, here, these can be customized as much as you want, the looks of it, the feel of it. Um, in this case here, I'm going to connect to MetaMask and then I can select the network that I want to use for the payments and I can select which token I want. The idea here is that we, you can customize and choose which tokens you want to accept. We suggest you accept as many tokens as possible and stay as closer to the original, to where the user has uh, keeps most of their funds in the long term. The idea here is to reduce churn, right? So if you, if one user holds thousands of dollars worth of a token, but you don't accept that token, they're going to convert just as much as they need to the other token because they don't like to be exposed to that token that you accept necessarily. Um, don't worry about um, volatility and risks. We can do an auto swap. So if you say, okay, I want to accept all these tokens, but I want to be paid always in USDC, we can do that automatically swap or if you want to accept the tokens and do um, once a day or uh, some treasury management we can also automate that part so here let me continue on the flow for the user once they select the token and the network then they need to pre-approve this is very similar to a credit card pre-approval where the customer would pre-approve uh, for you to withdraw funds with a credit card validating the credit card details um, very similar to how OpenSea does on the NFT side of things, they do these approval on ERC 721s or 11.55. Here, this is an approval on the ERC 20. Very similar, technically speaking. Um, and we allow users to choose up to when they want to pre-approve. So after 18 months, they would have to redo the approval. Uh, but you can force that to be indefinite if you want, uh, or you can reduce the minimum if you prefer course the longer the the lower churn you're gonna have here um, every time you create friction that users have to come again and approve again on every billing it will be a problem in a churn so now that the pre-approval is done we can move forward to the start subscription part of the flow so here the user just needs to click subscribe uh, we won't allow the user to subscribe unless they have enough funds in their wallet uh, even though in our case this will start a free trial so we don't charge anything initially so I just got a notification I heard here on my uh, screen. So we got a notification that a new Pro Lite user has been has subscribed to Boto, and I'm gonna show you on Stripe what does this look like. So if I refresh here, now we see this new customer, which is my test customer, and if I click on it, I'm gonna see that there is a trial here. <clears throat> So there is a zero dollar amount invoice created by Stripe, but the actual amount, uh, actual invoice, is only going to happen later. Um, this is because we have this seven day trial for our customers. Now that we are in the customer, we can make updates in Stripe. Everything you do is going to be from Stripe. If you want to change price of products, if you want to change add coupon codes, whatever, it's all in Stripe. So here, let's change this user from a uh, light user to. Um, Procore user, and then let's remove this light, and then let's add a coupon discount code for this user. And <clears throat> so now Stripe calculates everything. So if you have a complex billing uh, that takes usage, uh, the, the user's usage into account, or if you use another app that calculates all the billing and sends that to Stripe, that will work out of the box. There's nothing new here you need to do. Um, if there is a partial change because you change in the middle of the month, Stripe will calculate all that. Um, all what happens is that whenever the invoice comes through, 
uh, we're going to have an ERC20 transfer. But other than that, there's really nothing that changed from an experience that you have today as a merchant selling to customers. So, <clears throat> so let's uh, make this change here. But I'm also going to remove the free trial. I'm going to change from, z from eight days that we have here to zero. So we can see that invoice going through and being processed. So now I got an, another message here saying existing um, Bodo user has changed from uh, light to pro core. And if we go here, we're going to see now an invoice has been created, 3750. Um, and this invoice is going to be picked up for, for a payment for processing. And once this payment is done, we're going to see here this invoice is going to be updated with the link to the Explorer with the payment. Um, so again, you don't really need to go anywhere. Uh, even if you want to see what happened to an invoice uh, when the payment happens, uh, everything can be done here from Stripe. So I just refresh my screen to see. Now I can see this invoice is marked as paid. If I go back to Discord, I see already a message here saying that there was a payment. Um, <clears throat> so here it is. So it's paid. And then we have the link to the, the Chain Explorer. In this case, it was done on Polygon. And we see here that there was a payment um, for that user. And that's it. The membership has been paid. And that's what's going to happen every month. This is going to come through every month. Um, like I said before, if you want to do an auto swap, you would see here the swap. So that would be a transfer from the user um, on the token that they want to pay. And you would see a Uniswap swap to the token that you want to receive the funds all in one transaction. So it works all atomic. Um, and that, yeah, so that's uh, our product. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this demo. If you have any questions, anything that you would like to, um, to know, please book some time to, to, to speak. Thank you for your time. I look forward to speaking to you or onboarding you if you want to try this product. Um, thank you.